Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owain, me Alison, and me Daniel. Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live, it's Wednesday at 4pm, I'm Owain, I'm Alison, and me Daniel, there's Daniel over there, so hello everyone, welcome along, we're having a proper Tonic live Wednesday we're, we fi- for we're finding our structure we? again I think we're finding yeah. we were like you know jelly it's been a m- busy time in the office and I think juggling everything has, be- has definitely been a struggle for me and bank holidays as well yes chuck a few back <laughs> sprinkling the bank holidays sets everyone <laughs> yeah. uh, sets everything off a little bit but yeah we're, we're back to find our schedule so hopefully you're all okay and you're you're having a good week so far we had what have we had going on we had hannah in the office earlier today we did yeah, yeah. lovely she's um she's going to be putting uh, showing off the adorables on tuesday on uh crate and craft and it's at what was the time one and seven wasn't seven. it one p.m and seven p.m and then monday as well we got the duos with jody as well they're sent yeah. duo is loads more to come on on all that stuff before the end of the week uh friday we're going to maybe have a bit of a craft battle i think there's going to be a three for two on the sale items in the on the website so those may sale items you'll get two f- well you get three for the price of two actually that makes more <laughs> sense you get two for the price of That's three really aren't deep. you very lucky <laughs> no you get uh, two for the three for the price yeah of you two. get three for the price of the two so you get your cheapest one free or whatever they they, they they say but all that information is going to be there for for friday as well we may do the craft battle a bit earlier i think and, and do it maybe a three o'clock something like that maybe we'll see how we go um so yeah uh, what are we making today then huh? well what we're making today is this So I thought we've had a lot of questions about packaging and recycling and things. So I thought I would do a project with a little bit of recycling in it. So what have I used for my project? I have used our Flora Memoria layering die set. Um, This is the die set that came out with our last set of memory books. Um, I'm not sure if they're available. But they won't be long anyway. If they're not available at the moment, they really won't be long. They won't be long. Anything that you do see today, um, they'll be on the website if they're not already, and they will be available soon. And I know these are on the website. This is what I really wanted to share with you. Because you could use any square frame, but I really wanted to share this with you. And these are our embossing folders. They're our flora range. So we have um, Beautiful Blossom. Then we have Flourishing Garden, and the last one then is Botanical Bloom. And it's the Botanical Bloom that I've used to make this card. Mm, yeah, so some lovely embossing folders with them. If you haven't tried uh, our embossing folders and bits and pieces before, well worth giving these a try. They've got nice, like, big design as well. They have, they have. And Mary, Mary Robert. I'm calling to you. Yeah, she's on here now. I have to say, you've inspired me lately because you were doing such wonderful things with these designs. And that was where my inspiration came from today. So well done, Mary. Yeah. You're doing some awesome work. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, um, always a regular. You're all... you're all top fans and you've all got them there. Um, Melissa's from Florida, Martha from Florida as well. Hello, Catherine. Um, just want to, I'll check. I'm getting YouTube up now, so I'll be with you all on there too. But thank you everyone for joining us so far this week. I uh, hope you've enjoyed all the shows and bits and pieces that we've had going on. Yeah, it's just good to, good to spend time it's with you all. never a quiet day. Here, never a quiet day at all. So here's my bit of recycling. This is the packaging that your dyes come in. So if you're throwing all these away, then don't because I'm just cutting out a little square from the front it's really good acetate actually so this is perfect for shaker cards um, also this embossing Gildan Techniques which is what we're going to do a little bit of later so there's my square of acetate and I'm just going to pop it in my embossing folder and then run it through my machine. So if we got a side cam down, because um, I may need side cam today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, side cams on. There it is. So oh. we're all right. Uh, YouTube, lots of you on there. Uh, good morning, Ellen. 
uh, Phil, um, Raquel, uh, Renee, Renja, Kathy, yeah, loads and loads of people. So yeah, hello all of you. I uh, hope you're good. Things said, yeah, um, well, Raquel says, I should have gotten them when they were launched, but still waiting on the orders. Might appear to come in, in a paper aeroplane. Oh, hopefully they get to you soon, Raquel, in the US. Uh, Jolie, oh, hi Jolie, I haven't seen you on there for a while. Debs, well, uh, Debs, good. Loving all the regulars with us. Hello everyone, and all the newcomers if you just joined us. So I'm hoping you can see the pattern. I'm trying not to get too much flare on it. You will see it now when I finish. But that's the anyway. kind of flare you want on the actual project itself. You want it to be shining you and do. doing all that. You, you do, know? because when you move the... You move your project, if I hold it up the right way, you can see the flare on it, and you can see it gives it a different dimension as well. So, let's move on to the next step. If you're wondering about the sandwich for embossing these um, folders, it's a raspberry plate and an orange cutting mat. So, where do I go next? So my next step then is to take one of our Nouveau glue pens and these are the smooth precision glue pens. So I know if you've had the kits, these have been in the kit. So that's all I'm doing is make sure you've got the side that has got the, the deboss in. So you've got the little dip on the side. Just pop your glue pen in, give it a little bit of a squeeze, not too much though and then oh, run <laughs> oh, don't worry Dan, Dan just had a massive picture of me on the screen oh dear just look look at pictures scary? of me in your own time Dan yeah I love just run around the channels with your pen and keep going it's I actually found it was quite therapeutic don't worry too much if you go slightly out to the lines. This is something you'd enjoy doing. Oh, yeah. You would. So just keep going. The only thing I would say is try and keep track of where you've been. But if you forget, it's not a problem. So I'll just keep going around you. I'm not going to do it all because I think you might be a little bit bored. Do, do they get do they different colour acetate? Sometimes people do it. Um, you used to be able to buy gels for camera work and things, and they would be different colours. So I don't know whether they are made out of acetate. Mm. I'm assuming they are. So what you do then is you just carry on going all around all these lines until they're all covered. And like I say, I'm not going to do it all. Don't panic. You don't need to. You put paper behind it. No. How is the acetate black? We have to wait and see. Oh. <laughs> I'm not giving all my secrets away to start. I was scraping. I'm like, oh, no. the paper's behind it. No. You could put it behind it though. You could. But that's not what we've done. But I haven't done that because I wanted a nice black yeah. effect. So my next step then, here's one I've already done. Put once you've put your glue on, put it to one side and leave it. Just leave it until the glue has gone tacky. And you'll feel it. It feels tacky. So your next bit then, and I'm going to love this. He's going to run over the other side of the room, <laughs> I reckon. She threatened me earlier with uh, <laughs> Pop it upside down. Dip it in. Oh, that's, that's, that's satisfying, isn't it? That is one of these satisfying videos. And now you know now whether you've covered <laughs> all the areas that you should have covered. That was good, that. So just give it a gentle rub. You may find you've missed bits, because every time I've done it, I've missed a few How bits. much earlier did you do the glue? Um, I did this glue this morning. What, and it was still sticky for yes. you to do it? Yeah. I did one yesterday, and I, I gilded it this morning. So, you know, you don't have to do it straight away. That's new old glue for you. That is, exactly. yeah, that's the, that's the precision glue, so check that out. Uh, yeah, Raquel's going to try this. Yeah, try it. Do an acetate cover for your, your memory books, uh, exactly. Raquel. Exactly. It would Raquel work awesome. perfect for that. It would also work lovely for your boxes or a shaker top. You know, if you want to put a little bit of a shaker on. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's another one. Uh, Julie says, my birthday in 11 days and I definitely buy lots of craft supplies. Oh, well, happy birthday in 11 happy days, birthday. Julie. I'm just looking if I missed any bits because it may have been I've missed them with the gilding flakes. But it also may be I've missed them. Um, 
with the glue. Right. Oh, hope you're okay, Sheila and uh, Catherine as well. Hope you're doing well. Big hugs to you all. Mm. So just take one of your brushes. I like to keep one of these ink free, should I say, um, just for my gilding. So if you've got any random bits, you can always wipe them away. I'm going to put a lid on this for a minute. Ooh, there we go. So there. <laughs> I'm discovering oh, it as well. Can't resist no. that. Like, oh, it, it gives the impression of like a, a really like quality golden pen. It does. But, but I was like, it? but better because you get the texture too of the of the raised. What I should have done as well is gone over it before you put any glue on. Go over it with an anti-static bag because you won't get as much cling in then. So here's. Can we see there, Dan? Yes, sorry. Sorry. Uh, We've got a few stray little bits of gilding flakes there, but you can always remove them. And you can see here and here, I've missed with a glue pen. So you, I would go over those bits again. So just get your pen and add your glue in. Because it is so easy to just forget the bits that you've done. But you can easily do it later. So we'll put that to one side now. And then what's the next step? So use one I've already done. So I have popped all, all my flakes onto that one. So you can see, we'll put it back on there. All my gilding's done and I'm just gonna do the next step. So the next step is, there's gilding now flying everywhere. <laughs> Little bit of black gesso. Um, I like black gesso, so I gotta I've gotta say. Um I never seem to get as good results with white gesso as I do with black gesso. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's something that I am doing or well the gesso I'm buying. Maybe someone can help me out there. That's all I'm doing is painting the back, not the front, this is the back and literally just go in over it and nothing nothing special what type of paint is it it's acrylic yeah, so it's, an acrylic. It's, it's an acrylic paint um but it's like a base paint so it gives you a nice undercoat for things just, but if you if you're doing the back of it you could use other acrylic maybe on the back of the pack of the acetate is there a, or is there a property of gesso which is i just don't know I, it's possibly a gesso because it gives it binds to everything and it mm. gives you such a good under undercover. Maybe you could do it with other colours, mine thinking of it with acrylic. Yeah, I like it that side as well. Just like yeah, that. So you can have a nice sort of embossed effect, like black on black. You could do it that side as well. But there I did <laughs> give it. pointless doing all the gold bit though. No, don't do your gold <laughs> bit. But you could do your gold after. Yeah. So that is it's awesome. your side finish. Now I'm going to put that out that to the way. That was the magic. That was the magic. Yeah, I was going to say, when you put it on, the, on there, I was like, oh. I didn't, oh, see, uh, uh, I didn't see the gesso when it was. I'm going to give this just a wipe up. Because knowing me, there'll be elbows in everything. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> I squeezed out the gesso to do my my coating and everything. It's getting worse, though. It yeah. is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Good job I got a pack of that. Just making a pretty mess. Black gesso. I know, I'm going to wrap Bam my brush out. as well. This is how the Tim Holtz mats are made. Yeah, plenty of black gesso. If you look underneath, gesso. it's just all black gesso underneath. Um, and I put so much gesso out, even though I thought I'd only put a little bit, I managed to undercoat two jars as well. Because <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. You know what us crafters are like. So I'll just give my hands a little bit of a wipe because otherwise everything I touch is going to be black. Uh, Catherine says, "Oh yeah, I think Catherine's coming over to England next next Wednesday. You're going to see uh, see Merlin. Uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, safe travels, Catherine. Hope you're feeling well. Don, I don't have black gesso. Go for mine and put the black card behind. Try it. Try um, try an acrylic. Have you got acrylic paint? 
even try emulsion paint if you've got a little spare pot of emulsion maybe try that what about a mousse on the back don't think a mousse would be enough um quick to just give a wishy-washy yeah you need something that's going to grip to acetate um but i think possibly emulsion may because you're going to be hiding the back of that um even with with gesso if i scratch the back of it the gesso would come off but because i'm turning it over you're not ever going to be able to touch the back of it yeah, Julie says she got acrylic paint, so you're going to try it. Margaret! Give it a go. Hello, Margaret. It's Margaret Sutton. Hi, Hello, Margaret. Margaret. I haven't seen you on in a while. I hope you're okay, How are Margaret. You? You're looking at hope you and Tracy are looking after yourselves and you're all good. So there's one that I've done. I've given it two coats on the back. Um, so we've got a nice black finish. If you find you've got a few bits of gesso on the front, just take a baby wipe and it'll scrub it all off. So where do we start now? my next bit my card so i'll show you exactly what i've got here so you can see where i've come from i've used my die set <laughs> there's a bit of gilding flick oh, no. chasing around you so i use my die set anyway so i've used the largest die and i've cut myself two black bases in plain just plain black then I've done another one in black and I've cut in the outer pattern so I just chopped that in and then I've done a plain cream so I'm going to glue the black and the cream together Let's pop them out the way in a minute uh, Ricky's with Emily uh, I'm watching hi hiya uh, it'll be okay both of you so let's pop a little bit of glue on the back here. And if you're looking for deluxe adhesive, it's back in stock. It feels quite it tame is. now just doing this glue in, doesn't it? It does. It <laughs> it's does. Like quite <laughs> I know. We haven't done a bit of glue in for no. ages. But I wanted to show you exactly where I've come from and what I've got and where I started and finished. <coughs> uh, both are fine, except Tommy is a broken and so no crafting oh margaret oh. you have to let us yeah have to let us know message uh, message support if it broke not through you like dropping it from a high <laughs> high window or something we can't <laughs> replace that if <laughs> you dropped it from the top of a multi-story car park margaret i don't think we can replace it but it's like yeah. one of those youtube channels like does it break? <laughs> yeah. if margaret if you are running one of those do, does it break channels then uh, i'm sorry we can't it replace it. but anything else we we should be able to check um email support uh cameron and, and molly will help you out on there we haven't got any tangerines at the moment though no, we but haven't. when they're in then we'll sort you out um there we go so i'm just going to leave that glue to dry just a sec before i run it back through my machine because i want to cut an aperture so oh that's what i didn't bring i know you've got some new some tape You've got tape hidden here, haven't you? Know, I know you have. Oh, what? Doubles? Du um, any tape. I don't know. Have you got any? Right, I'm going to carry on anyway. So what I've done with the other two that are plain. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Just to pop that on. But leave your glue dry because if it's not dry, what I find is it will squeeze out and it'll make a mess on the front of your card. So just give it a couple of seconds to grab that white plate. So the other two, it's okay, I can get that, yeah. Um, the other two black outer shapes then, I've done a score line just at the top here. So it's at an inch or 2.5 centimetres just from the edge. And that is going to be my joining part for the card. So we can do that easily. Um, Catherine says, says, thank you, Alison, for the information on the embellishment mousses. Not She's a try problem. It out after. Not a problem, maybe. Yeah, not a problem, Catherine. Um, hola in Peru. So from Patricia and Tracy. Uh, Tracy has, or she's emailed, thanks, guys. Love you lots. Love you lots to uh, Margo. Hope you're looking after yourself. Um, yeah, loads of people loving it. They're absolutely gorgeous. From uh, Elizabeth from Southern California. Uh, loving it. Yeah, really good. So there's our card blank. And I think it's quite an unusual shape as well. 
Yeah, we I could have it that like way. It. Okay. But I thought we'd have it that way. This was Karen's idea. She said, turn it around and put it that way. So I listened to everything Karen says. Because otherwise I'd be in the dark. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so I'm just going to pop this through the tangerine. Let me move that out of the way. And of course the cutting plates for the tangerine are your, your top plate, which is white. And your cutting plate, which is orange. Hmm. Uh, Robin, so hello, first time watching live. Absolutely love tonic craft supplies. Uh, also new to tonic products. Oh, Robin, welcome. I think your machine's a little bit tight, isn't it? So much. We've got so much to show you. If you haven't, uh, well, we've got loads of videos on YouTube. If you want to watch back, maybe you've picked up a product and, well, how did you how did you stumble across this? Maybe just let us know. Maybe Ooh, you've someone gave you again. a crystal drop or a or a mousse or a glimmer paste or you've got a dye, something like that, or you saw us on TV, or you saw our mag, or you saw our kit. I think we've got so many ways of coming into tonic now, whereas it used to be all dye cutting. Yeah, yeah. Now it's, it could be the paper bears, it could be Norval. Could be, yeah, yeah. There's so many, so many different ways. That's better. I think maybe you need a new machine, don't you? I know. We will. Yeah, we maybe we do. When, once the new ones come in, we, we do. It does get a bit of use, don't you? So it we'll does. Have to see. So there's my frame, all cut and ready. Right. So my next bit now is. Get that to one side. Where am I going to position this? So I did think. Initially, you can see I did the outer frame, and then I realised I didn't really need it. So I'm just going to check where I want to position it. And that looks just about right yeah. to me. Obviously, you could do Not a photo sure. in there or something like that if you wanted you to. You could put anything in here. You could put absolutely anything. Right, so sticking this now, I'm using some double-sided sticky sheets. Because... Acetate can be a little bit of a tinker to stick, so I'm just using a sticky sheet and just popping it onto the back. Deb says, I won some tonic goodies from Quick Cards and checked you out, and you stuck with me. That's how we wow. that's kind of what we're like. You just you stumble across us, then you've watched and then 25 you hours of show tonic showcase, and you, <laughs> you think, When am I going to get that time back? But we have like we got so many videos on there uh, and and things and demos and stuff for you to find. I think Robin said, um, yeah, the monthly subscription uh, for kids twenty. That was it. Yeah, that's cool. Loads of people finding this wow. from the kids. So it gives you a good selection of, of of lots on there. Yeah, we do. If you are in you know in the US or in the UK, okay. there's there's lots of different stuff out there. We do lots of different styles of tonic and tools and stuff like that. If you haven't seen any of our tools before, you'll see a lot of people on. Or one of your favourite crafters, you'll see him using a, you know, one of our Timon's guillotines. So we worked with Timon and lots of other bits. The Super mats. trimmer, the mats, the glass mats. mats. They're pretty much everywhere, aren't they? Um, yeah, so you do. Tony uh, Project from Leslie. Hope you're good. Um, MKFC, joining late from New York. Uh, yeah, all good. You're and, welcome. Yeah, and Catherine's out. Oh, your eyes feeling a bit better. I'm glad, Catherine. Glad you've been And Helen as well. There we are. So there's my my sticky. So just make sure now that you know where you're positioning. So I'm kind of about there, I think. So before I press it down, I'm going to have a little check. I'm happy with that. That'll be fine. So I'll give that a press down. And that will hold it all in place then. Let me get you the full name. So someone asked what dye you're using. So the outer side, so this this shape, I don't know, sort of this square shape. It's with like a, a round round square. square. Rounded square. This is floral, uh, Flora Memoria. It's a layering die set. So Flora Memoria, is, it's called. And you can find it on the Tonic Shop uh, if you're looking for it out the way, if, if it's not there or sold out. And we're also using the embossing folders as well. The code. The code. So whenever you hear an E code, so whenever we mention 452E, that's just the unique product code to the product. So if you Google it, followed by, you know, so in this case, 2504E, 
followed by Tonic Studios into Google, you'll find it, all the places it's available, including our shop. Same goes for any of our products. If you see an N after, instead of E, that means it's a Nouveau product, and that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm just using our 3D foam pads. I'm using quite a few because I don't want any dips. Sometimes when you put frames on and you don't put enough pads, you'll get a dip in between each pad. So it may look like I'm being a little bit wasteful, but I think it's worth it. We, had a, we did a show ages and ages ago. We did like a craft. It wasn't a craft. I think it was more like a challenge, Alison. And and, <laughs> and it was like a um, and we did like stuff from home, like a recycle upcycle thing. We did. Well, I quite like challenge, Alison. Was, <laughs> it's like challenge Annika. Do you remember that program? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't remember that, Dad. No, I Even I think oh, I, too young. you think I'm just too, too I'm just young. a bit older than you. That challenge it was like what was the original? Because Annika Rice was the one that yes, but it she was, used to have it was a spin clues, off from didn't she? Yeah, it was and called like Crossroad cro something. They go around in a helicopter basically. They would have clues. Oh, I what was remember that, called? that. Someone I will tell me. Remember. Ricky, do you know what it was? Oh, I don't know. They used to have clues, didn't they? And they had to pick a... <laughs> I can't remember what they Now, like, that. talk about, like, environmental. Driving around a helicopter just so Anna can rise yeah, and find clues. Just so she can have a little <laughs> spot in the country. She's in, like a, a, like, a shell suit sort of thing, isn't she? I think they were probably... Yeah, it probably was a shell suit, wasn't it, at the time? It was. It was like an anorak sort of thing. And, and she'd go... And they'd say, like... It would be like a town, they'd pick a town, like, say it was like, or Burnley or something like that. they just go around Burnley, like in a helicopter, saying, oh, you've got to, they'd have a timer, it'd be like an hour long show, and they'd have to go and get, oh. go and find, um, I've got to find a, a teapot from Burnley, or, some, or like the, the music hall in Burnley, and she'd have to fly to like there and run around the place. It was yeah. treasure hunt, That's Margaret. That's the one. So, you you probably spot it, it on Challenge TV somewhere. Yeah. Gold, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. There's our frame all in place. And again, I like awesome. the sheen that the acetate gives you. And the reason you need a big piece of acetate is because after you've embossed acetate, you're going to have ups and downs in there. And this kind of evens it all out, and it makes it a little bit more acceptable, I think. So this is a little bit of a sneaky peek as well. Uh, Jenny asked a good question. So, so from uh, Chatham in, Te in Kent, I've recently uh, bought the new Keepsake Bookmaker dies. They look similar to those. Can I incorporate them? Yes, you can. Yeah, that, that these are the Bookmaker dies. Yeah, they went on the, the, the show. So yeah, these go. They're just a layering die as well. So they double up kind of. Um, yeah, Treasure and Devon was over. Challenge Annika was Treasure and in a time program and needed only clues yet it was like a spin-off that's right so treasure home was that successful oh i mentioned earlier that we're having our duo sentiments on on monday and this is part of one of those duo sentiments so i'm not giving you any more sneaky peeks than that but this is just one you, teeny tiny you can part. tell them wh what is a duo sentiment a duo sentiment is you go two sentiments that fit in the same backing panel it's quite ingenious really it's and really they're cool. not they're not even sentiments that you think it's not like happy birthday and birthday wishes they are completely different sentiments so it's it's lovely it's something different yeah yeah and it's something that can expand your your crafting arsenal as well because sometimes you think oh i don't really want to buy two sentiments Oh, but the, I need them. The ones with the backing plate are always look good as well. Love so the backing, backing plate. plate. So again, I've just popped a little bit of glue on the back, as you've seen, and they fit perfectly to these backing plates. So you'll see lots more inspiration with these duos. And there's more to go with it. This is just a tiny little part of it. Yeah, you see all those on, on Monday with Jodie as well. So they, there's they're also there. another part that goes with these. So again, I'm sticking on to acetate again, so I am using a little bit of, of this sticky. Um, Carol from Scotland. Hi, Carol. We used to, when, when we first started, like we first were doing, like we've been doing Tonic Lives now for probably about three years-ish, maybe is it two, maybe yeah, two and a half, three years, three years. And um, we started and we did, we called Tea Time with Tonic and we do like, it's, the, it's basically show Tonic Showcase, what it is now, where we show your cards and 
and had like a mini technique in there and it was a oh, similar sort of thing as this really but then um and we had lot we had a big scottish base that like a lot of it, it was before we had when we so many people watching um but we had loads of people from scotland it used to be just like that was our hot spot yeah where we were really <laughs> really popular <laughs> I don't know. Why. You've all got different things to I do don't now, know I either. Think. But um, yeah, you got now we you know all over the world, so is is awesome. But it was weird, sort of. We still have loads of people from Scotland. We did. Uh, Julie says uh, my dog has his hip pop and money. Oh, my dog had a, a oh. knee operation. I'm not too long ago. Yeah, like uh, good luck uh, uh, for it, and yeah, just take his time there when he's on when he's on the mend, and him. Yes. Definitely. Follow the doctor's instructions for the rehab That's stuff. It. Let me just get these little bits of tape off. How regularly will these be held? Well, um, we yeah we do. Usually we've done like two lives a week for the last thing, but we always have one on Wednesday at four p.m. So it'll either be it'll always be a demo really on a Wednesday. Uh, Monday we have moved that to Show Tonic Showcase, and that's when we go yeah. through your cards. So if you want to show off your cards, you've made something you. You're proud of it. It's got a little bit of tonic on there. Then you can upload it to the official tonic Facebook group, and then we just go through them all and just have a bit of a, a laugh and a bit of fun uh, doing that. And then on Friday, I think we're gonna have a craft battle this week, which is me and Dan in a timed face-off clash of the titans. Yeah. Right. Um, normally to a theme. Normally to a theme. So yeah, we do it. We're base. You know, we're amateurs. Dan's maybe a bit more than an amateur. We, if you've seen some of his more, more recent work. Um, I was featured in card making. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know. Where's your journal in? You were meant to bring your journal in today. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it for Friday. I'll oh, show you sorry. For Friday. Oh, I'm a day. I've only I'm got like one. Days. I've got a good French one to, that I, I've got. Basically, a French flag on a page there and a baguette. We are. So I've a baguette. A baguette. Like they eat in France. A page. <laughs> no, it don't. I'll show you it Friday. Okay. <laughs> Keeping a mystery to everyone. I've added some dream drops just around the corners. If you haven't heard about dream drops, they are an iridescent drop. They they're quite unique. They're very subtle. Um, if you look at the at this one, I'm going to move that out of the way before somebody puts an elbow in it. They pick up what colours are in the back of the card, the backing card as well. So there's a little bit of green in this. So it's picking up green from the black card. Um, there's a pink, there's a lilac, there's a white, uh, buh, 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 a green. I can't think of all the colours. Oh, we do like a nice pinky there's one, about eight like beautiful. Of them, oh, they, yeah, check them out on, on the website. Have a look for this, dream yeah, drops. It's a beautiful shimmery sort of. Yeah, you've got loads of different colours in in there. Um, yeah, in, in, in a yeah, really pretty way. But um, Mary just asked a question here. <laughs> tonic, tonic Game of Crafts. Well, it, it, it will be as dramatic as that. Um, my Precision Nouveau pen keeps flooding and isn't coming out consistently. I'm using it on the acetate for the first time. What am I doing wrong? Are you squeezing it too hard? Or pressing the nib too hard? Try going a little bit gentler. Yeah, if not, it's just doing... Um, yeah, if not, just drop us a message or support because we um, can be able to help. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, and do you still do, do the challenge with Daniel? Well, we haven't been doing them for a little bit. We just it's been on hiatus, but um, at least eight people said in the daily earlier that they <laughs> that they liked it, so it's it's coming back. Um, but we think we'll we'll have that on Friday. We'll just make it like every now and again. We'll just have a bit of a games day or something, and we'll figure it out. We got to get you and Karen doing a craft battle. You laugh too. Karen, okay. she's, when we've approached Craft Battle before with Karen, she goes, oh no, I can't. Unless I'm prepared, I won't do it. But I think yes, you, you convinced her now to, to do it. I'm just going to show you how long I've left the glue. Bearing in mind it is warm in your mind. But that is long enough. So you can see, what have I left it? Half an hour? Not even that, possibly. And you can see where I've put the glue just on there. Dan, can we have a little look, Jack? Yeah. Okay. You can see just where my hand is, where I've popped the glue, and it's picked up the the gilding flakes. So it's not very long. You can leave it till the next day if you want to, but you don't have to. And the same thing then with the gesso. This is almost dry. There's a little bit. Of Still wet in the centre, down the bottom, 
but that is it i would probably give this another coat because you can see through it a little bit if you pop black card let me just show you it almost looks a bit rubbery with it the it does cool, isn't, isn't it, it? Yeah. i like that it's yeah. you can do it with black card if you wanted to um but i just like the gesso oh, yeah, I like the, I like the gesso. you can do it if you've got um you know you had embossed photos from because our magazine that we do regularly yes like that you know that lovely christmas scene we had those kind of ones use this effect on those because they're the nice that would be nice, would be nice couldn't do it with glitter as well mm. um if you've got any glitters there put your glue in and then pop your glitter on the back and um, it will stick to it as well so you can have the same sort of effect but a little bit of a shimmery effect uh, she says what a great card alison thank you for the tip of embossing acetate you're welcome oh, i was loving it um yeah th yeah loads of people just yeah loving it robin says i need a tonic credit card with large amount on it <laughs> well, check the shop you know we've always got deals on and, and sales and things oh, like that oh look at me saying to you don't put your finger in there well, and I did. And I've done it. Oh, no, you did it. Uh, it's me, it's all right. I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the hands are just right. Yeah. Like, I thought that was the dry you went. Um, what DD what says, I love this dye because egotistically, it looks like a D uh, to me, so I'll be buying it. This is D. Uh, I only buy circular layer dyes, the same. Um, the, yeah. There's your D. Yeah, awesome. There you go, there it is. <laughs> I thought going, oh, Ali, you've made it the wrong way around. Oh, there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, no. Well, that wouldn't be a surprise. I know, that wouldn't be. That would be no surprise whatsoever. We haven't had an Australian one in a long, long time. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Be what do they call it in Australia? Also, we haven't had a crack battle in a long time. No, that's <laughs> prime place. To, what do they call them in Australia? I don't know. UK card? A UK, UK card, card yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, think, on, I don't know. I don't think people in Australia have the cards backwards. I don't think that's like what they're all doing out there. I don't know what they have there. <laughs> have you been to Australia and bought a card? I, I've so, been to Australia, didn't buy a card. Though. I've been to Australia, didn't buy a card either, so I don't know. I need some research. Anyone in Australia? Uh, I'm sure you can do a bit of research. I'm sure we'll find it. Um, yeah, loads of people looking to try this uh, and enjoying it. Uh, Give it a go. Yeah. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Cool, cool techniques. Awesome cards. It doesn't it. really take that much. Because, I mean, obviously, the plastic we use from packaging anyway. Exactly. So it's not like you're losing out no. on any papers or anything. No. It's basically stuff you're going to throw away anyway. So Well, I've had a couple of sheets of card, a bit of glue, <coughs> which hopefully you've had from your kit, yeah. um, gilding flakes, which you've had in your kit and maybe never opened. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Yeah. Really. A little bit of glue. It's a good way, a lot good way of looking at your embossing folders. If you, you might have embossed embossing folders and, and not using them, but get them out and try them on some exactly. acetate. Great. Um, Leslie asks a question. Alison, I have tried and tried to use the expanding mousse with a stencil. I have a tape down, but it still seeps through. What am I doing wrong? Now, I struggle doing this sometimes. Try using a sponge because sometimes you're putting too much on. The other thing, I mean, people have said it to me, put some um, spray glue on the back some repositional glue leave it go tacky and then put that down i still haven't found that any good the only thing i can use is a sponge and then i find i can put the mousse on i go. think i'm a bit heavy-handed because on a stencil you'll get a beautiful effect with the expanding mousse uh should i be able to hear the glue inside the pen as i shake it it sounds very runny yes there's a little bit you can hear it yeah. moving in there i don't know whether i can put it back yeah it's quite a liquid glue yeah There we are. That was good. One, That's yeah. it. I didn't know whether you could pick it up for there on the cat on the bit of ASMR for you all. Yeah. Um, right. So yeah, that's I'm it. Just wondering, who's, who's, who said they were having a trouble with the uh, uh, Mary? Was. Mary. I'm wondering, Mary. Look, I've got I've got flakes on everything. Um, if I squeeze the barrel, then it comes out quite fast. But if I just pop it down and don't do anything, I'm hardly squeezing that barrel, then you get a nice even line. So maybe maybe you're being a little bit hard on the barrel. Lay off the weights, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you got a question. Yeah, take a, take a few days off the gym with, yeah. with those. Uh... Don't squeeze it. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're just. They're tense, wrist tense, isn't they? Oh, 
But they strengthen the things, yeah. don't they? Oh, yeah. look at me, I'm taking the top off now. I'm like, I've always seen them and I've always seen people use them. I'm like, I'm not really sure what it does. They do I think arm. it's a grip strengthener. They do your arm. I think that's what it is. All arms? I think they do it all, don't they? Full body workout. <laughs> <laughs> and your pens, be careful with them because they, they come apart the opposite way to expect them to come apart. Australian way. Yeah. <laughs> because it's normally left to loosen, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, loosey, yeah. Right. This tighty. is right to loosen. So just be careful when you're using them. And I, there is a reason for that, and I can't remember what it is. Uh, Mary, she says, I wasn't squeezing uh, uh, at all. Well, Mary, drop us uh, an email. Support at Tonic. It may be a problem with the glue, Mary. Yeah, it might be. Uh, that's, uh, is it because they use, they use a ball? Isn't it? So there is it's a ball. Like a ball point pen, so it could be the case that it's fallen out. Yeah, it could, could have dislodged <laughs> and been in the wrong place, and that's why it's coming out too fast. Um, does Tonic sell the mat you're working on? Yeah, we do. This we is do. The, the, the Tonic glass mat. Um, yeah, you can check it out. I don't know if it's on the website at the moment. You can check it out, tonic-studios.co.uk if you're based in the UK, on tonic-studios.com. A3 glass mat. A3 glass yeah. mat, that's it. Um, and it's got lots of cool guide bits and stuff like that, all your measurements layering. on there. Uh, layering, all that in squares. Yeah, it's a brilliant mat. Yeah, you see in loads of videos online. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. Brilliant car, Dal. Um, Thank and you. And yeah, we'll, we'll join you now on Friday. I think we'll do it at, what time? Three o'clock? We'll do it at maybe three o'clock. I'm going to do it at four o'clock if we want. Come on, we'll do it at four o'clock then. <laughs> We'll okay. tell you. We'll do an event, okay? <laughs> Craft battle, the return. Well, maybe I was I just thought maybe do, maybe it's a morning thing. We just do it in the morning or something, maybe for a change. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, like it's coffee, like a bit yeah, of a Friday morning, time. Friday morning sort of thing. Friday coffee time. You let us know what works best for you, uh, and and we'll figure it out. But maybe yeah, a morning one. That'll be like a Friday morning thing we do. So uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. We've got loads more to come with you on the duos and. Uh, adorable as we're going to show off so yeah thank you any questions i'll obviously put them in the group and email support at tonic if you do have any further questions that you want to ask customer service so thank you so much everyone have a great evening and we'll see you all soon bye bye, bye. bye.